Who put the gliding gladiator? Caribbean Beach. Good morning, everybody. It's only been about seven hours since I last saw this camera, so I'm kind of tired. And these chicks, Megan and Katie, they're back. Sarah's actually here in today's Sarah, vlog. Hey. Hope, hope you all didn't miss her too much. But we're gonna grab breakfast with them, do breakfast with the Burkharts, slash the Petruses, and then we're gonna hit up Animal Kingdom. It's gonna be fun and busy morning. Oh yeah, here it is. Caribbean Beach is weirdly odd, strange solution to all the construction and not having a food court. Pastries, assorted Danish, breakfast buffet. Hold on, breakfast buffets? $14.99, $14.99, $14.99. So we did it. Since it was only $14.99, we went and got the buffet. Buffet, 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 buffet. Reimagining Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Wow. All the food's about to happen. All of it. Navi River Journey Fast Pass, but we went to get some air conditioning and a fuel rod over here in Island Mercantile. And if you come, oh, look at this nice rain jacket. It's like a more Disney version of ones we have. But if you come to Animal Kingdom, make the pit stop, even though you're excited to see the tree life, first gift shop when you walk in on the left is so nice. It's got like such traditional stuff, but then it's got Pandora and other stuff and just regular merchandise that you will not find in any other gift shop in Disney World. And for your Pandora fans, they have a banshee tree here that shouldn't have nearly as long as a line as it usually does in Pandora over here. So it's a smaller selection, but no wait. Did you guys realize there was a banshee thing here? I never knew that. So this, one, this is like no wait compared to the one in Pandora. The music has started over there. Look how beautiful. We had to run and ride the Navi River journey because our fast pass was ending. And these girls have never been here before, so we gotta do it properly. Every day we see them. The suit out. Animals magical is marking something easily. It's gonna be the tightest, the tightest fitting. I can't even have my car. Out. Yeah. out there on the right, take a look in the opposite corner from where we are. That is called an okapi. Uh, they're typically pretty shy. So shy, in fact, that animal was not discovered in the Western world about 1901. Hey, yes. Look at those ears. Greater is a black like things to like, on guys, leave us alone. One in the Look at those, those two hippos over there just relaxing. And that is typically how they're found throughout the day in the water. Oh my god, that's the new baby giraffe. Look how cute the baby is. Now that is. baby at birth would have been able to stand about six feet tall. Guys, fool ya. 100 pound little antelope is considered one of Africa's top 10 fastest animals. And it speeds of about 55 miles per hour. Which, by the way, is faster than giraffe. 
on average run for a very short amount of time. Look at the little party over there. Now she looks pretty small compared to Dalton. In reality, she is. Uh, these are white rhino. <laughs> Like, I am. This one is so close. Beautiful their faces are. Oh, yeah, so close. I have a pretty cool adaptation to live in the desert. This animal can raise their body temperature to 116 degrees. What did you trade for? Oh, no, I just dropped it. That is definitely old. Good trade. One, look how sweaty I am. Two, me and Megan worked at trading posts together in Frontierland, so pins are like... So these have been game changers. These are amazing. These like old towels. They're, 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 they're like $16 here, but they're, they're been cold the whole time. They also have that frog towel, like it's all greens. Yeah. I've never seen them. Ooh. You feel like thunder? So of all the 20th anniversary stuff, I think this hat is one of the coolest. It comes in this cool box. It's a baseball hat, but it's an all wood bill. And I want to say it's like 150 or 200 bucks, but like it's super cool, special just for the 20th anniversary. And this is cute and all, but I got that cool uh, pass with the one from Food and Wine. But it's a, this is a cool mug, 20 bucks for the top that close. Oh, it, it doesn't. It's just a. Oh well, no, it does open and close. I didn't even see this. This is a cute sweater. It's like three-fourth sleeve. Almost like a jersey, like a jersey style sweatshirt. Does it have a hood? It does have a hood with cool animal prints for the 20th. Look at these paninis and sandwiches. Yeah. We've had like a breakfast burrito here before. But it's, a, it's at the Kusa Fury coffee shop and bakery. Peter has been... I took a nap on the ground. But this spot like never gets hit by sun so it's cold. The ground is cold. Help me up. <laughs> My lips. They don't lie. <laughs> Everyone, Everybody, it's almost like another intro. This is part two to our awesome day. Sarah killed the Howling Horror Nights edit. I, I know. hung out with Eve the whole time. I think I did a good job keeping her preoccupied. Yeah. She barely barked. Mm -hmm. um, but now we're heading over to the Bugs to hang out with them because we haven't seen them in like two weeks. Too long. Way too long. So we're going to be hanging out with them tonight. We'll see where the night leads us. So I haven't seen him. Or more importantly, I've been with his daughter in like two weeks, true, and true. she's on her way back, I think. And uh -huh. the door just opened. We're all like, <laughs> but it was just Jess. It was Jessica. Sorry, it's me. Why? Why? It's okay, Jessica. We missed you too. I missed you guys. But we're all pumped for the Lucy. You so the, I miss. Hey, look at me. Because she's yeah. Show me your Minnie Mouse. I, yeah. Yeah. Show me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We might have a new favorite. Do you like Minnie? <gasps> Thank you. Mm -hmm. You give her kisses? Mm -hmm. Good job. Josh, you are such a southern man, yet you provide such a not southern pizza. 
ham and pineapple. It's good. I'm no, I've had it before. I'm really pumped. Yeah, I like the. Uh, but this makes up for it. The non-southernness. While the boys are going to the storage unit, we are doing <laughs> this. We, we should just. We got retainers we out. We got some makeup samples. <laughs> Look at these headbands. I do you remember to these? It's too pretty. You do a, a <laughs> one of these. <laughs> one of these, but not at all like I do. <laughs> Wait, does anybody remember? Details are to be released in the near future. I have a name, but I need to set up the account clear so nobody else me. can take it and clear it with her because she's my branding specialty arm. Oh, look I'm at brand Eve though. is waiting for her water since she only drinks out of that cup now. Which one? The middle one? No, that one. She only drinks out of the, the lemonade one. So we're going to go to bed. Um, I don't know how much Sarah vlogged. She, you said you got some time lapse. We had a great time with the bugs, helping them get their house set up. We had pizza and garlic nuts. And we have blue drink, which is Mountain Dew Voltage for the morning. We're going to Disney Springs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about uh, the podcast that I'm going to start with uh, Megan and Katie in the morning because they were my They're pro. They were my prof they were the pros that helped me set up Park Hopper Podcast. And down when you see this, don't get mad. I'm still game for Park Hopper Podcast, but guy, we gotta shape up. My podcast is not gonna be theme park related. There may be some talked about, but not really theme park related. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>